Right. And this is Tim Kaysen reporting uh, Channel 5 News. And I have this young man, Jack, here, who uh, want to ask him some questions about ozone. What does ozone do? It keeps the air on the earth. It keeps the air on the earth. We all know that ozone protects us from frying. But how? It blocks most of the sun rays. It blocks most of the sun rays, he said. Ozone is a triatomic molecule, O3, that is found in large concentrations in our stratosphere. In a layer that starts about 10 kilometers above the Earth's surface and continues to about 50 kilometers. When I say large concentrations, well it's really not that concentrated at all. There is approximately 10 million molecules of air for every one molecule of ozone. That's really not that much at all. But if that's being depleted, that's a very scary thing. I've mentioned that the ozone is like sunblock. You wouldn't go outside on a hot summer day without a sunblock, would you? You wouldn't? Yeah. So the same thing is about ozone. Would you go and spill refrigerators all over the place? No. You wouldn't? Why not? It would be cold. It would be cold? What, what makes refrigerators cold? Electricity. Electricity? Electricity and CFCs, which are chlorofluorocarbons, which are also in foams and aerosols, right? Like, do you use bug spray? Yeah. Do you use bug spray? Do you like bug spray? No. You, know, you like bugs? Yeah. You like bugs? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? You can't use this kind of stuff. It has CFCs in it. It kills the ozone. And that's why you use stuff that doesn't have CFCs in it. Look, it says no CFCs. This person represents an ozone molecule. And this person represents a CFC. When the CFC enters the stratosphere, a chlorine atom is released. And it destroys the ozone molecule. The ozone, in standard conditions, is a pale blue gas. The ozone was first discovered by Christian Friedrich Chauvin in 1840. He named it after the Greek word for smell, ozine. They are linked to many different skin cancers and other serious conditions. Basal and squamous cell sarcomas are the most common forms of skin cancer. The UVB rays cause the pyrimidine bases in DNA to mutate, creating serious problems when DNA is replicated. UV rays are also thought to cause malignant melanoma, a very lethal skin cancer. Although the connection is still unknown, both UVA and UVB rays are thought to be involved. About 4% of ozone is destroyed each decade since 1980. Also, a larger seasonal thinning of ozone, known as the ozone hole, occurs at the North and South Poles every year. A few days ago, a message was written in a nearby playground by a schoolboy named Little Johnny. It seemed like he was trying to tell us something. His body was found next to an incomplete P. He died Tuesday from excessive UVB ray exposure, which causes melanoma, a very lethal skin cancer. The imposing threat of UVB ray damage due to ozone depletion has caused many to stay indoors away from parts such as this one this summer.